Hey guys, this is Ify and welcome back to my kitchen. Guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make one of my favorite okra soup recipes. I know I have like two, three different recipes on okra soup on my page. Did I say page? <laughs> on my channel, right? But I don't have this particular one and this one excites me. Now, I'm going to be using a combination of meat and seafood. So it is safe to call it my surf and tough okra soup. This shocks a lot of people when they see us Nigerians, you know, combining fish and meat together. Some people are actually shocked, like, how do you do both? Guys, I promise you, it works. It really, really does work. It's delicious and the taste, everything just goes beautifully together. And then this combination in okra soap is an explosion of flavors. I love it and I know you're going to love it too. So guys, if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, please do not hesitate to click the subscribe button. And once you're done clicking that subscribe button, it's not over. Go ahead and click the notification icon. What that means is that each time I upload a new video, you'll be instantly notified, okay? So please go ahead and do that, all right? And um, before we start this recipe, I'm gonna show you all the ingredients that I will be using so you get familiarized with them and then we can start okay so let me show you so for this recipe i'm going to be making use of seafood like i said earlier and this is my seafood here i'm making use of crabs and if you notice i've cracked open the legs of the crabs and this is to allow the seasoning enter well when you know i season this okay so that is why i always do this so i have my crab legs and the crabs i also have fish yes i'm using the head of fish I love to eat the head of fish. Now, don't look so shocked. <laughs> I'm also using prawns, okay? Some giant prawns. And yeah, that's basically all the seafood I'm using, okay? I'm also using some ugu leaves. These have been cut and shredded. I'm using some, my, this is my pepper mix. This is a combination of scotch bonnet peppers, cayenne peppers, and onions, which have been roughly blended. I have some iru here. I have some fish seasoning, some shrimp seasonings. I also have some crayfish. I have some uziza leaves. Now guys, this one adds such a huge flavor to the soup. So please don't miss it out, all right? I'm using some palm oil. And my choice of meat is goat's meat. This adds a lot of flavor to the soup. You can use beef, but goat meat adds, always adds a whole lot of flavor. And then this is my okra. I'm using okra, of course, it is okra soup, right? Okay. And I'm also using some snail here. I've got my salt and yeah, that's about it. So these are all the ingredients that we will be using today. So the first step is to season our seafood, okay? I'm going to season this with some fish seasoning. I've got fish seasoning here. I love this fish seasoning because it's just a brilliant blend of almost everything. I really don't have to add several ingredients to make my fish or my seafood taste really good so that's why i like to use the seafood mix you can use whatever you like to season your seafood okay i'm also going to be adding some of this pepper mix all right just to let the onions and pepper everything you know just mix well with the seafood okay so there you have it I'm just going to give this a good mix to make sure that the seasonings get into every corner of um, the seafood, basically. All right. So just mix it well, mix it well. And then we'll set this aside because we're going to be using this a little later. All right. So this is it. The first step is to add my goat's meat. Now, my goat meat has been cooked already, all right? So I'm just gonna um, add it into the pot along with the water or the meat stock in which I cooked the goat meat. 
just gonna put it in there i'm also going to be adding my snails now my snails have been properly seasoned so i'm adding it in here i'm going to add some water and then leave this to cook for about 10 minutes this is just for the goat meat the, the stock everything to just wake up and you know till i'm ready to add in my fish my seafood basically so i'm adding some water guys when you're making okra soup do not add a lot of water so your soup does not turn out too you know light or watery okay so i'm just adding some water to cook my snails and you know i may add some more along the line or not but for now this is fine okay so i've got my food processor here i'm sure you're wondering what i'm going to be using this for well i'm going to use it to cut my okra right it really does make the job a whole lot faster so what i basically do is to cut off the bottom of the okra which i have done already okay so i've chopped it all off washed and chopped it off but i'm just going to cut it into two to make it easier for the fruit processor to process or to slice basically all right so instead of grating it grating works as well but this is super super fast Okay, so I'm done with cutting my okra into two. And like I said, this step is just to make it easier for the food processor to blend or rather to cut. And now this is the base of the food processor which I'm going to use to um, process my okra. I just place it on it, open it, and I'm using this blade. So your food processor comes with different blades but this is the one I'm using. It's the knife blade and this is the one that will do the work, okay? So just fit it in nicely, all right? Make sure you do it correctly. Make sure it fits well and then you put in your okra, very easy, just like that. Super, super easy. Technology has made life easier for us in the kitchen. <laughs> right, so. That's it. Just gonna put it all in here and then cover it or rather close it. It's very important that you fit everything correctly or it will not blend. Most food processor won't work. So you're just gonna turn it on. Better make sure you stay with it so you know once you get to the level of how you want it cut. You stop it now look at this in less than a minute i'm done chopping all those okra is this fast or what look at it look perfect just how i want it okay so we're done with the okra nice so my meat has warmed up thoroughly and my snails have been cooking this is looking good I'm going to go ahead right now to add in my seafood. Uh, look at this head. Is it intimidating? <laughs> Do you like fish head? If you've ever eaten fish head, let me know in the comment section. And if you like it, let me know as well. So I'm putting in my um, everything basically. The fish. Yep, so everything can start cooking. The crabs. This is going to be delicious. Mm. Yummy. And I'm also going to be adding in that's the fish water that has all the pepper and everything good. Oh, this got in by mistake. I'm not ready to add my prawns in yet because prawns cook really quickly. So this is fine. Okay. This one, I'll go ahead and add in my pepper so everything starts cooking okay, this is fine i like to reserve a little i'll show you why okay so this goes in now i'm also going to add in my iru okay so i'm just going to put it in now iru is locust beans it's fermented locust beans this flavors your soup beautifully if you don't have it you can cook this without it of course but if you have it all well and good right so i'm just going to cover this pot and allow this to cook for about seven minutes and then i'm going to take out the fish 
so it does not overcook. So after about seven minutes, I am coming to check on my seafood. It looks beautiful. Nothing excites me as much as when I see the change of this color. This is gorgeous, guys. Oh my gosh. Imagine cracking into this. Oh, it's hot. Beautiful leg. Oh my god. This is wonderful. I love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, so what I'm doing right now basically is to take out the seafood so I do not overcook the seafood. You know how fish you know, gets done easily? Apart from overcooking so it does not scatter. So I'm taking it all out. Okay, so now whatever one I haven't taken out can remain in the pot. And look, the water has, that's the stock from both the meat and the fish is almost dry so i'm going to put in a little more water now this is hot water so it doesn't drop the temperature of my soup all right so i've added in some hot water if you notice i didn't add a lot of water like i said you do not want your soup to be watery. at this point i'm going to go ahead to add in my prawns guys if you notice i'm doing everything in stages and that's how you cook because different things have different cooking time all right i'm also going to be adding some smoked mackerel fish and this is just for additional flavor and so that when you also put in your swallow you pick out something so i'm just going to fix it i've cleaned it removed the bones and you know any unwanted stuff all right yeah. so i'm going to go ahead to also season remember my meat stock was there and i was also seasoned my Prawns, everything went in here. It's also seasoned, so I'm going to be careful, not so much. And then give everything a good mix. My palm oil is also going to go in at this time. All right, so I'm not going to add a whole lot of palm oil because I still want. Okay, this is perfect. I still want my okra to look nice and bright. This is one secret that a lot of people don't know. When you add a lot of oil to your okra soup, it kind of kills that green brightness. So a little oil is just fine. All right, so I'm going to cover this for about five minutes so that the prawns can cook and then we will continue. We're almost at the end, guys. So stick with me. Mmm, beautiful. Guys, do you hear this? This is the sound of my water boiling because I'm going to be making some nice ebba to go with my okra soup. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn it off and make some ebba right now. Okay. Wow. Look at this. Mm, mm, mm. Everything looks amazing. I'm just going to give it a quick taste to know. Oh, this is perfection, guys. All right, so we have everything going. Our seafood cooked. Our meat here, our snails cooked to perfection, not too soft, still nice and crunchy. And I'm adding in my okra at this point. Mm. Beautiful. Okra is easily one of my favorite too. Okay, so as soon as I add in my okra, I'm going to go in with my uzi zalips. Okay, just a handful is fine. And my crayfish as well. I like to add my crayfish towards the end because I find that it really does intensify the flavor of the soup when I add it at this point. So sometimes I like to add at the middle, meat cooking, and at the end. See so what I was saying? It's safe to always add in um little water so your soup does not turn out watery if you find that it is too thick then you can go ahead to add more like now i, I think it's too thick so i'm just going to add a little more water to make it lighter now this is still hot water okay so just a little really really this looks good. I'm going to go ahead to add in my ubu. Okay, just a handful will do as well. Well, you can add in as much or as little 
as you like. Okay, so this is perfect. So we're going to give this a good mix. Look at everything looking fresh. Remember that you do not want to overcook anything here. Because everything is all done. Oh, look at the offer. It looks fantastic. The color is perfect. It is, and it depends on how you like your offer really. If you want it a little more fluid, by all means add some more water. If you like it this thick, then this is perfect. I think I'm going to go for a little more just to lighten it a little. This should be perfect. Okay? Look, this is this is beautiful. This is this is beautiful. So now that everything is in, I'm adding my seafood back and then in the next minute or so, I'm going to be turning off the heat because it's all done. Now when you add this, be careful, be careful to make sure so you do not break everything off. And remember I showed you that I was keeping some pepper. Now I was going to show you at what point, oh come on go in, go in. <laughs> I'm going to show you at what point. So this is the point. I just add a little. That's the onions and the pepper, you know, just to give it more color. All right. So it goes in at this point. It's going to make my soup look nicer and brighter. Yeah. And in the next one minute, I'm going to be turning off this gas and we are done. Now tell me, does this look good or what? Okay. Alright, so it is time to turn off my gas. Whatever it is you're using, your stove top, anything, because this is done. Remember not to overcook. The residual heat can finish up the cooking of the okra. Look at how nice and bright this is. This is how you want it. So I'm just turning this off. Perfection. Guys, if after looking at that pot of soup, you are not convinced that it's going to taste amazing, then <clears throat> I cannot help you because that soup is delicious. And I hope you all are going to recreate this, okay? And then when you do, take pictures and tag me on any of your social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, anywhere. I'm Ify's Kitchen, everywhere. I really, really would love to see your recreated version of what I have just made okay so thank you so much for watching if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell share this video with your friends and your family and of course come back to see other videos because I upload videos at least once every week okay thank you once again and I'll see you in another recipe video until then take care of yourself and keep eating good food bye